Hello, YouTube. Um, this made my second video today. Uh, the reason I didn't have a pipe in the last video and I don't have a pipe in this video is actually my allergies been kind of going crazy and right now the medicine is making me feel better. So, but it just, I don't like smoking a pipe when my allergies and like springtime are kind of acting up. It just, I don't know, just doesn't work well up here. Um, anyways, uh, this video has to do with something I haven't done in a long time. I know I've uh, had mentioned that in my hobby video, I think I mentioned that I used to fletch my own arrows. I shouldn't say, well, I used to. Well, I haven't done some in a long time. And when we were out at the turkey shack or the hunting shack, whatever you want to call it, we were talking about how we used to shoot a lot of archery. Um, and I grew up, um, I had a bow in my hand, I think, since, I want to say like five, four or five years old. Uh, my dad shot a lot of archery and, and, you know, obviously I just got into it too. And so, I mean, I'd spend hours just shooting at hay bales that we'd have with my recurve. And we thought we, and I don't know if I ever mentioned, I used to shoot competitively. Um, and since we haven't done it in a few years, I had some friends that would do it and we just, a lot of moved away and we got busy and we just haven't done it. And someone had kind of brought it up and, you know, I was like, I want to get back into it, and I haven't done it in a long time. And when I shot competitively, I shot in the hunter class. I think some of them at the time call it like 2 aid, which was a compound bow with a release. You know, one time I had a, a, state, a state ranking, but that was quite a few years ago. But I had the idea, when we were talking about it, of getting back into it. And this time when I get back into it, I'm, I'm not going to do uh, the compound again. Even though I, I enjoyed the, pond, uh, the compound, I still have it. I still hunt with it. But I want to kind of go backwards, kind of more to where I started. So I am actually going to start um, doing more recurve again. Um, so I made a goal for myself, which I'm not sure was a, an obtainable goal or not. Here they have a thing called the Badger State Games. And next month they have the archery portion of of it which the Badger State Games is just like a big thing they have all kinds of different sports and whatnot and it's kind of like a state Olympic kind of thing and I have made a goal for myself to try and train myself to uh, shoot recurve and compete in this <laughs> um, now I'm not starting from like you know absolute beginner because I did shoot a lot of uh, recurve before I got into a compound and then getting into compound with release because I shot my compound with fingers for a really really long time until I did some competing with shooting with my fingers and then moved on to a, a, a release but I haven't shot a, a recurve in a long time it's a it's a it's a different it's it's a different discipline along the same lines. I mean, they're both archery, but I guess I would call them, you know, two heads of the same animal, but the discipline is different. And, uh, so I'm not starting from ground one, but I haven't done it in a long time. And I did purchase a recurve bow, but I had to order it. So, and it's not here. And that's the part that's kind of killing me. I have less than a month to try <laughs> to train myself to be somewhat competitive in this division. And... The bow isn't here yet, and it won't be here till next week. So I don't even have like a baseline for how much work I have to do. Now this is a hefty goal, so I I, I at least want to be somewhat competitive in the division, and it's just going to be a lot of practice when I can and trying to get my form back into shape to shooting that style again. Because eventually, if I keep with it, I want to move on more into the Olympic style recurve kind of division, but you know, baby steps right now. So I've, after the bow gets here, I'll have less than a month to try and do this. So I'm not sure if I put my goal too high, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, I'll definitely keep you guys updated if you ever, if you are interested. So, um, yeah, that's just kind of my silly goal I made for myself and hopefully it will work out. I don't know. <laughs> But it's something I really miss doing. So, 
feet up there are legless, legless. <laughs> but along that lines, you know, of like I said, I'm not starting from beginner because I have a lot of knowledge of archery um, within both styles. It's just this is a style I haven't done in a long time. But for you guys that are getting into archery, I would strongly um, don't watch a whole lot of YouTube. It's really hard to find someone that knows what they're doing with some of these videos. I watched a few of them because I was curious more about some of the form stuff and some of the stuff com comparing, you know, one over to three under and all this other stuff. And there's a lot of bullshit videos out there, okay? So there's a couple guys that are pretty good at it. Um, I was watching a guy, uh, I think his YouTube handle is like New Sunset or New, <laughs> New Sensei. Which is weren't too bad. There's a couple other guys, and I can't think of them off the top of my head. But just be, if you're getting into it, um, I would suggest either finding a friend that's into it, or maybe there's some kind of club event around by you where somebody can help you out. Um, I'm trying to learn this all off of YouTube. If you were to start, you might be more confused than if um, you know you were to learn from somebody, um, because some of these guys. There's a lot of guys that just have these videos and they're like, I just started, but I, you know, I'm going to tell you how to do this. And you're watching it. And if you, you have that burden of knowledge, you're like, that is bullshit or that's wrong. And you don't, you're not necessarily mad at them because you get a lot of these guys that are talking about these preppers and their bug out bags and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, just shut up. <laughs> you're, you're teaching people wrongly, but they think they're doing it right. And I, I don't know. I have a thing against like uh, a, a kind of a little bit of a beef with like these survivalist people and uh, these bug out people because you know a lot of these people just they you know I, I they just don't know what they're doing. I shouldn't say that, but they're they're over paranoia and there's something they read in a book and they jump on YouTube and make a video in their backyard <laughs> in the city, but they look like they're in the woods. And if you grew up, you know, if you grew up. You know, being around woods, being out in the woods, camping, and doing all these other things. You can tell, I don't know, for me it's easy to spot someone that is just full of shit. <laughs> and there's a lot of these guys, they're, they're like these urban guys, and they get a lot of, they're like preppers and stuff. And you can, you can just tell how they talk about things that they're just, I don't know, full of it. <laughs> and it's just like, they have followers and I don't get it. But anyways, that's, en that's enough of a rant about that. So... I will definitely keep you guys updated on the archery progression, and uh, hopefully things go well. Um, otherwise, in the comments below, what 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 what's a hobby you guys have done and just haven't done in a while, and what do you miss about doing it, and why aren't you doing it anymore? If anybody wants to comment down there, um, go ahead and comment. I do, you know. Otherwise, yeah, kind of a weird video, but have a great weekend.